Now the Lions line out working a lot better. Blocked by uh, the Lions. Yes. Here's a chance with Carter yes. running hard. Carter still going. Carter yes, boy, DC. Gets the the fuck it. Oh, wow, well, Carter. DC. Jeez, hell of a tour that was, uh, 2005, uh, Mark. Yeah, can can I call you Mark? You can call me whatever you like, Jim. Yeah, well, mate, there's, yeah, obviously there's a, a thin line between, you know, flirting with your colleagues and enjoying the celebration. But, uh, hey, it was good fun, good memories, uh, Grant. Um, 2005 Lions Tour. What were you up to, mate? Oh, I, I was actually working at the game. You may not have noticed. <laughs> uh, Gatlin's men taking on the ABs. This is very exciting stuff. You know, we start off at Eden Park. The ABs haven't lost there since 94, Steffi. I know, a long, long time. And actually, last time I was at Eden Park, which was not long ago, I met a guy called Seamus O'Higgins. And Grant? Yeah, mate, we've been talking about this for so long, and it's finally arrived. It's, uh, it's hardly believable, isn't it, really? And uh, I was pretty impressed with uh, the Lions over the last couple of weeks, I've got to say. And um, I think this might be a little closer than we Kiwis would like. Is this our biggest test at Eden Park since the 2011 Rugby World Cup grant? There is a heck of a lot at stake. These blokes only come every 12 years, we all know that. And uh, they're coming with a pretty good reputation, uh, with a Kiwi coach. Everything really is, uh, the ingredients are all there. Greg Somerville only had one toe. Saw him. Oh, what's that sound? Oh, what is that sound? Can you hear that, Grant? No. Got, oh, yeah, oh, there we go. Still on again. Sounded like someone was dissolving a Barocca in my eardrum. <laughs> <laughs> but, hey, we're back. Uh, anyway, um, Steve Hansen's made some big changes. Julian Severe's out of the wing. Izzy Dag's back in there. And Rico Iwani. Let's talk through this one. Why has he put Rico Iwani on the wing here? I think because uh, he's probably better under the high ball. He's the form winger in Super Rugby. He didn't get a chance to, uh, for the Māori against the Lions. I think it's an astute selection. Um, he is the future. A lot of people are saying, I actually believe he is the present as well. Ben Teo, the metre eater. He's gained 200 metres, nine clean breaks, speeding 14 defenders and seven offloads. He's uh, marking Sonny Bill Williams. This is a hell of a, a match-up, uh, you know, in the centres there. Both ex leagues as well. Yeah, well, these guys are going to be the mainstay of the back line, aren't they? And uh, they're going to be very physical, as uh, league players tend to be, front on defence. Uh, if it wasn't Teo, it would probably be Manu Tuolangi, uh, but he's not on the trip, of course. So uh, uh, big bodies and how they defend will be probably more important than how they attack. Who could eat the most ribs at Lone Star between those two, would you say? Oh, geez, I'd, my money would be on Ben Teo because um, Sonny Bill Williams is Muslim. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> but yeah, if you if you're talking about coleslaw or stuff like that, I think Sonny will have him hands down. So um, that's always very exciting. It'll be oh, that's a great great match up there. Let's talk about Crotty, his inclusion back into the team. Has Anton Leonard Brown been very unlucky here, Grant? Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, he has. Um, Anton Leonard Brown, of course, he played what nine Test matches last year. Played very well last week against. Uh, the Samoans, and so I think if there is an unlucky player in this All Black starting 15, it's it's he. Yeah, nice, nicely said. That's why Grant's here. Yeah, that's why he's here. That's, talking that's about here. putting the, the, the best 15 on the field, Gatlin's left um, half penny out. Um, obviously, he's not the full quid. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> OK, well, let's... <laughs> Staffy, let's look at um, some of the odds, mate. The ABs, obviously the favourites, paying seventeen to the Lions... 480. Was that a surprise? It sort of is. You know, I heard Graham Henry uh, today actually saying this is the test match between the two best teams in the world. And you'd struggle to argue with that because you've got the best of the English who are probably the second best te international team and they're complemented by the best of the Irish and the Welsh. Um, and to, so to, that just shows you how awesome we are. And it's not arrogance, it's not overconfidence. I think it's real. Well, let's look at the, the Head Hard and Balls leaderboard. Oh, yes, let's have a look at that. And you are absolutely thumping me and Grunter. Maybe I fired my shots early. Grant, I'd like to hear, I'd like to hear the Head's reasoning first. Yours, please. All right. Well, look, I can tell you two days out from the Test match, lads, that uh, we, uh, when I say we, 
uh, the bookies are losing on the Lions. Uh, now, this is pretty unprecedented, I think. Even though the All Blacks are short price favourites, there's a lot of money gone on the Lions at that $4.50 mark, and they might have to just ease them in a wee, but I don't know. Look, I'm I'm going to be very sensible here. I'm going to go All Blacks 12 and under. $3.10. $3.10. $3.10. That is quite nice and juicy. And uh, staff yourself, mate? Well, again, there's a slight overlap between me and Nisbo here because I'm going the All Blacks as well, but I think they're, they're better than that. I'm taking 11 to 20. So All Blacks by 11 to 20 because I think they're about three tries better. And that's at $3.40. So slightly higher price. But if it's 11 or 12, both me and Nisbo can win. Yeah, nice boys, nice boys. I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna crack the whip this weekend. Uh, I think I might be in the money. Uh, like you do think every week, <laughs> like I do. 119 kilos of lean, mean propping machine. Owen Franks playing his 91st test. Uh, it's going to be slippery underfoot, and I think that he might actually find the chalk with his first test try. No. Look, the All Blacks oh, scored what mate. 70 against Samoa, and he couldn't get over. Yeah, but this is different. You know, like um, yeah, it's harder. It is a lot harder, but I just feel like surely this guy's got to find the chalk once in his life. Oh, mate. Over the top. 36. Yeah, it is. Oh, 36. Over the top. It might be over the top there, Grant, but... um, I'll tell you what. You've got to risk it for the biscuit, and, you know, know, go big or go home, I say. So, um, staff, I heard there's a bit of an offering on at the moment. Yeah, there is. If you uh, haven't got a TRB account, um, get one, because uh, if you have a bet up to $30, your first bet on a British and Irish Alliance test, which we've got this weekend... And it loses, we'll give you your thirty bucks back. So Stop it. A, we call it a free swing. A free, a free swing. swing. Yeah. What a game to bloody have a swing at. The ABs versus the Lions this weekend. Up Steve Hansen's men. Find the chalk Owen Franks. I gouged someone in the in the testies. Cody Taylor. It's gonna be an absolute rip snorter. Thanks, lads. We'll see you next week. You're heated.